Titrations are an important technique as they allow us to measure the concentration of an unknown solution for which the concentration is known. In order to use a burette, we must first prepare the burette. This is done by first cleaning it, which is accomplished by using water without any soap or detergent. Once we clean it using water, we must rinse the burette um, with the solution that we are going to be measuring. So in this case, we're going to be measuring a base, so I will rinse it with such. It's important that before you pour in the liquid, you ensure that the stopper is turned perpendicular, as that's an indicator that the stopper is closed and no solution will flow through. So start by using your funnel to pour in some solution. Once some solution is poured, we just turn the burette horizontal and allow the solution to reach all sides of the burette. It's very important that we turn the that we turn the tip parallel so that we can rinse the tip as well. Once the burette is sufficiently cleaned, we can pour out the remaining solution into a waste. Now that our burette is both cleaned and rinsed, we're ready to pour out the solution that we're going to be measuring. Again, we can do this by using the funnel. Once we've poured our solution, we need to fill the tip. This can be done by briefly opening the stopper and then shutting it once more. It's very important that this is done before the initial reading is taken, otherwise your measurements can be affected. So now that our burette is prepared, we're ready to take our initial reading. In this case, our initial reading is 31.50. Note that the readings can be taken to two decimal places. Be sure to record your reading. I'm now about to add a couple drops of indicator to our unknown solution. This will allow us to be aware of when the endpoint is reached. In this case, I'm using phenolphthalein as an indicator. I'm now ready to perform my measurements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my stopper parallel and this will allow our um, known concentration flow freely into our unknown solution. I'm going to watch carefully for the solution to turn pink and that's what's called our initial pink flash. The white piece of paper helps me to see the pink flash um, more clearly. Once I see the pink flash, I'm going to start allowing the solution to flow more slowly. Make sure when the solution's flowing that you are allowing your unknown solution to stir. Oh, so now I see some pink. Now I'm going to go more slowly. The end point is the point at which our pink solution persists for at least 30 seconds. Make sure when you are pouring your solution that you are using your dominant hand to stir the flask and your weak hand to operate the burette. Note that in the event that you get some acid or base on the side of your um, flask, it's perfectly okay to rid of this using distilled water. This allows your two solutions to fully mix together. I'm now noticing that the pink solution is persisting longer. Again, this is an indication to allow the solution to flow more slowly. The pink solution has now been persisting. This is a clear indication that we have reached our endpoint. Note that this drop attached to the burette has now been counted into our solution as it is past the tip. At this point, it is now safe to take our final reading, which can be read directly from the burette. In this case, our reading is 41.55.
Make sure to record your readings.